hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are watching first time my video so please subscribe my channel and must watch full video because today uh, i'm going to uh, telling about uh, how to log in with google authentication in asp.net csoft so here we will uh, create new website i'm using visual studio 2013 and uh, here uh, click on the file and uh, click on file file and select new and then need to uh, select website and you can uh, rename your website here like uh, what name you want to uh, write here so i'm uh, using here login with google and then click ok after clicking ok you can see your uh, solution explorer and uh, you can see here login with the google id uh, i will uh, right click on the uh, website and then uh, and add the new item add and new item and uh, select web form and uh, you can uh, rename your website or you can uh, uh, directly use your default dot aspx i'm using default dot uh, aspx here and uh, i have already created uh, here uh, html so i'm copy edit it and i will paste here you can uh, see here whole page html uh, i will scroll first you need to create uh, asp uh, server side button like asp uh, uh, colon button is the server side button and you uh, need to set id uh, btl login and text login uh, with google login with google sorry login with google and uh, this represents the server side and on click of the login button okay and now uh, you can directly create a table or you can uh, use the panel for visible or non visible uh, where you want to visible uh, like uh, after login uh, you can uh, visible and uh, show and hide how to on show and hide on click of the login event and you need to create a table and uh, inside table you need to take a row and inside row you need to take a column td represent the column tr represent the row and table represent the table and then id name email email id and verified email and uh, you need to uh, cl uh, clear button take if like uh, a clear button work as a reset button and now uh, right click on the dot aspx file and view code this is the uh, cs space where you can write all the uh, code here you can write so first we will uh, write the page load code okay <coughs> So I have already created. Uh, I'm copy here in the all code first. I need to copy Google Connect. Then uh, I'll paste in this project uh, inside the page load event. And you can uh, copy all the name spaces uh, from this uh, side to um, paste here this side. Okay and now i will copy all the page load first uh, you need to check the condition inside the page load uh, is post back property so after 
after that i have checked the property and uh, i will tell you why it is coming inside the uh, error message showing here and uh, like uh, google profiles or google connect uh, i'm telling you let me show another code and uh, now this is the uh, click event of the login button this is the click event of the uh, clear uh, like reset button and this is the create user defined function where uh, use the property like uh, user find class and you can use um, the attribute of class okay so you have to uh, need the download your dlls google api dlls but i have already inside this project's dll so uh, right click on the uh, project and open folder in the file explorer and copy in the win folder from yes because inside win folder i have two dlls asp uh, snips google api dll and asp snip ref dll refresh so i will copy the whole folder like bin folder and after copying this folder copy this folder i will paste in login with the, the google um, website so right click on the uh, open folder in file explorer and i will paste here and close it and need to uh, right click on the project and need to refresh the folder and it will show here okay and uh, i hopefully yes oh what happened why this error is coming i need to check okay uh, curly braces issues yes yes one curly braces is removed from here so i need to close one curly braces okay and uh, another error showing here okay okay now i need to set the alignment my code okay and uh, now i'm telling you how to set the google api and you need to create client id and client secret first you need to create client id and client secret like uh, you need to create uh, your account uh, google account without uh, creating google account you cannot login with google authentication so first you need to find console.google.developers in uh, on chrome browser and uh, click on the google cloud console and uh, here's select you agree and continue and uh, inside google uh, cloud select a project if you have uh, not created project so first you need to uh, click on new project and you can uh, give your project name here uh, what project to i am i will set here the um, google demo project name is google demo and uh, let me check what happened 
I'm not sure it created. Okay, this is the my project project and created here Google Google demo. Okay, so after that I need to check the dashboard. I will click here dashboard activity recommendation cloud activities check all the products where is the credential API services yes I you need to click on the three uh, lines and click on the API and services and after API and services you need to click enable APIs First, you have to check the Google Plus API. You need to search Google Plus API. Google Plus API. Click on the Google uh, Plus API and enable it. After successful enable, I need to create credentials. So first you uh, you need to uh, click on the credential and then uh, create credential and select the auth client id after selecting the auth client uh, client id uh, you need to configure consent screen so click on the consent in screen and select external type and click on the create button and you can select what name you want to provide so you can select yes i i will sign google and you can select your email id and scroll down a little bit you need to check uh, you need to provide here again your email id so i am providing here my email id where is gmail.com okay after that you need to click save and continue button and wait for a moment and you need again you need to click and save and continue button and need to click save and continue so you can check here your auth, is, auth consent is screen okay and go back to database sorry dashboard and after that you need to click again on the credentials and create credentials auth create auth client id and select the web application and uh, you can uh, provide name here according to you what name you want to choose and then you need to add here your uh, website url so uh, first i need to right click and uh, within browse, uh, google browser and this is your default url so copy it I need to need to paste here 
बट ओनली पोर्ट नंबर यू नीड टू पेस्ट योर लोकल पोस्ट विद पोस्ट नंबर दिस यू आर एल यू नीड टू पेस्ट योर एंड ऑथराइज रिडायरेक्ट यू आर आईज यू नीड टू पेस्ट योर फुल यू आर एल आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट क्लिक ऑन द क्रिएट बटन ओके दिस इज योर क्लाइंट आई डी कॉपी द क्लाइंट आई डी फ्रॉम द कंसोल फ्रॉम कंसोल एंड नीड टू पेस्ट इज इन साइड द नीड टू पेस्ट द क्लाइंट आई डी एंड सेम थिंग डूइंग फॉर क्लाइंट सीक्रेट and copy copy the client secret from here and need to paste it and the client secret in visual studio c sharp page okay and you, know, you need to click okay and you can download uh, here your client id and client secret so click on download auth client ओके सो एंड इट डाउनलोड सक्सेसफुली एंड नाउ वी विल डिवक द कोड एंड वी कैन चेक हियर हाउ डायरेक्टली लॉग इन विथ गूगल this is the my uh, credentials uh, like my details so this log in the successfully with google id so thanks for watching this video guys